G'day, g'day. Last week I got this from AliExpress. It was about four or five dollars Australian on sale. Very cheap for what it is. It's basically a nest on a chip with a bunch of games. Now the problem is, um, if you can hear the sound of this, it's playing at like 1.3 times the speed, and that's because they've used a PAL ROM on a NTSC nest on a chip. So the idea is we're going to pull the flash off, dump it change the ROM out with a uh, NTSC version and pop it back on. I'm not sure how easy this is going to be, but I guess we'll find out. To dump, we're just going to pop it on a GBA bootleg and use our Joey to extract the ROM. Um, bootlegs do swap address, oh, sorry, data lines 0 and 1 around, so we might need to write a small script to swap those back, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. Just pull this flash off. Let's give that another 30 seconds or so to heat up. And pin one on this uh, flash car is here. So we'll rotate that that way and we should be all good. Looks good, no shorts, no bridges. We'll see if uh, our Joey will dump it. Okay, so debug has detected the flash as 32 megabytes, so everything looks good. So we'll dump the ROM off, which is as simple as just dragging it to your desktop. Make a new folder. All right, that'll take about 30 seconds to dump and I'll be back. All right, so looking into the ROM using a NES uh, sprite editor, you can see the sprites are here, but they're not quite right. Um, and this is due to the bit swapping I mentioned earlier. So what we'll do is we'll write a small script uh, and we'll get these all swapped around. So the glob top used in these consoles is by a company called VRT 
if you go to their website, you can find emulators, you can find a whole bunch of tools, including um, compilers to make your own ROMs, but also a tool called Nestmaker, which creates the multi-ROMs. So you can use that, uh, add all your games that you'd like on there. I think the mapper is restricted to mapper 0 and mapper 4, and then um, compile that into a single file, flush it to the, uh, the chip, and it should just work on there. So that makes it really easy to modify your own ROM pack. Okay, we're all flashed. Let's see if it worked. We're back together and it works. Did we fix Mario? Ah, success. The screen's still pretty terrible, lots of shimmer, tearing, but uh, at least the audio is working. So now we know the whole process works, we can go ahead and start swapping out ROMs, but that might be a video for another day. Thanks for watching.